Hello. Uh, in this topic, I am going to discuss about superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion. Okay. Superposition. Superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion okay so what will happen if two collinear simple harmonic motion superimpose so there are different uh, conditions in some cases we will consider the two simple harmonic motion to have same frequency in another case we will consider the two collinear simple harmonic motion having different frequencies okay so first we are going to discuss number one when the simple harmonic motion when the simple harmonic motions have same frequency frequency okay this is the first case that we are going to discuss that means we have got two simple harmonic waves having same frequency okay and they are acting simultaneously on a particle that is the two waves that is we have two simple harmonic simple harmonic waves of frequency for example omega angular frequency okay angular frequency angular frequency omega traveling in the same direction in the same direction okay in the same direction same direction okay let the direction be x axis okay along along x axis okay so these two simple harmonic waves are acting on a particle and they are traveling in the same direction so the displacement equation their displacement equation is given by their displacement equation displacement equation r we can write the displacement equation as x1 sorry x1 is equal to a1 cos omega t plus let theta be the phase okay theta 1 okay second case theta 1 and the second case is x2 x2 is equal to a2 cos omega t plus theta okay here here a1 and a2 are amplitude are amplitudes amplitudes okay and theta 1 and theta 2 are initial phases initial 
फेजेस ओके सो अपन सुपर इम्पोजिशन अपन सुपर इम्पोजिशन अपन सुपर इम्पोजिशन वी गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू ओके एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू व्हाट ए वन कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस थीटा वन प्लस ए टू कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस थीटा टू ओके सो नाउ ब्रेकिंग इट व्हाट यू गेट एक्स इक्वल टू दिस इज uh this is cos a plus b and this is also cos a plus b what is the formula cos a plus b cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b so it will be a1 it is a1 cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b plus a2 cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b okay so next what you are getting we can separate the cos part a1 cos omega t cos theta 1 plus a2 a2 cos omega t cos theta 2 this we have separated okay and the sign part we are separating like minus a1 sin omega t sin theta 1 it will be plus a2 sin omega t sin theta 2 now now from this part you can take cos omega t as common and from this part you can take sin omega t as common so let's see so i have got a1 cos of theta 1 plus a2 cos of theta 2 cos omega t i am keeping common minus a1 sin theta 1 plus a2 sin theta 2 times of sin omega t okay so this much i think you have understood now let us take this entire part in terms of some cosine type okay let that is I'm I'm writing this entire part as r cos phi, r cos theta, for example, r cos theta, and this entire part as this entire part as r sine of theta. So what you are getting? So r cos theta is equal to a1 cos theta 1 plus a2 
cos theta two and r sin theta is equal to a one sin theta one plus a two sin of theta two. Okay. So I think this much is clear. Now. So these two equations, for example, this is equation number. Um, for example, this is equation number one. Okay, this is equation number two. This is equation number three. So what we'll do now? Let square and add. Okay, if we put these values of equation two and equation three and equation one, what do you get? Putting. Equation two and three in equation one. What you'll get? X will be equal to since it is x. X is equal to r cos of theta cos omega t minus r sine of theta sine omega t. Okay. And this can be written as R cos into cos b minus sine into sine b. It is the formula of cos a plus b. Cos omega t plus theta. For example, this is equation number four. By squaring and adding equation number three, what you'll get? Squaring and adding. And adding equation two and three, what you'll get? R square cos square theta plus R square sine square theta is equal to A one cos theta one plus A two cos theta two whole square plus A one sine theta one plus A two sine theta two whole square. So this is equal to R square cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal one. And here, if you break the entire thing. Here, this one will get a square plus b square plus twice of a b. Similarly, if I break this entire one, what will get a square? Plus b square plus two ab two ab. Okay. So next, r square is equal to. So now from here you can see. A one square cos square theta one, A one square sine square theta one. Okay, we can take this portion as A one square cos square theta one plus sine square theta one will be one. Similarly, if we take A two square cos square theta two and A two square sine square theta two, they will also add up to. A two square plus A two square, okay. And last, we are left with two A one A two cos theta one theta two, two A one A two sine theta one theta two. So we'll be getting twice of A one A two cos theta one cos theta two plus. 
sin theta 1 sin theta 2 okay now again i have got here a1 square plus a2 square plus twice of a1 a2 a1 a2 cos a into cos b plus sin a into sin b so it will be cos a minus b now if you put here r it will be it will be to the power 1 by 2 okay so this is the resultant amplitude okay this represents this represents resultant amplitude amplitude okay that means the two shm are superimposing and producing the resultant whose amplitude is this one okay this one so now if we divide the equation for example equation if we divide equation 3 by equation 2 what you'll get dividing dividing equation 3 by 2 what you'll get so equation 3 is what is equation 3 it is r sin theta okay r sin theta by r cos theta is just tan theta is equal to a1 a1 sin theta 1 plus a2 sin theta 2 divided by a1 cos theta 1 plus a2 cos theta 2 so what you'll get now this will give theta is equal to tan inverse a1 sin theta 1 plus a2 sin theta 2 divided by a1 cos theta 1 plus a2 cos theta 2 okay now if the two shm simple harmonic motion have same phase okay if phi 1 or if theta 1 is equal to theta 2 that means they have equal phase equal phase equal phase then what will be the resultant then r will be equal to that means i am writing theta 1 is equal to theta 2 okay so i am left with a1 square plus a2 square plus twice of a1 a2 because theta 1 minus theta 2 will be 0 cos 0 equal to 1 okay this is from uh, this is for example this equation number this should be equation number 4 i guess equation number not 4 equation number 5 this is equation number 5 okay from equation 5 from equation 5 so this gives you r is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab a plus b oh there is the square root it is a plus b okay now if this first case now second case is their phase difference is 180 degree that is pi 
if theta 1 is equal to theta 2 if theta 1 minus theta 2 for example if theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to pi pi radian for example radian this gives then from the same equation equation 5 will get it as a1 minus a2 okay so this is the case of two simple harmonic motion two collinear simple harmonic motion having same frequency okay collinear means they are in the same line in the same direction thank you very much